I don't know that they have any influence, but I do certainly know that the staff is not happy with it. Um, I have spoken to them. I've spoken to the persons concerned. The one you met in the parking lot does not come by very often. The other one you referred to, <laughs> um, some days I wonder if he works there. <laughs> I have raised this matter with my ministry because I don't like the, the, the image that it portrays because it gives the impression that the department is facilitating the requests of the political directorate, which is not the case. And I have spoken to that individual. He persists in coming back. He says it's a public place. And he has had a lot to say. But I have to put that aside because it is not the right thing to do. Um, the staff has already been informed, and I'm sure he's listening to me today. The staff has already been informed that when we go to our new location, that no member of the public will be allowed behind the counter in any of the areas where we have. And we're taking steps to actually put fingerprint machines so that areas are actually restricted, that only those persons who work in those areas can access those areas. Right now, the present location that we're in, it's very difficult. Um, sometimes when I'm in my office. Good can we get the audio looked at? Proceed. Sometimes when I'm in my office, I would look up on the screen because we do have cameras. I don't have time to watch them very often. But you do see a few people who I have begun to identify as agents when I see them often enough. As I've said before, and I will say again, I don't think that is a healthy process. I don't like it because it gives the impression that there are some people that are more favored or regulations and our laws require that persons appear. Um, a family member, I have no objection to a family member, you coming in and doing something on behalf of a niece, a nephew, a child, um, but when a person continues to be there on a regular basis, clearly nobody spends that amount of time in any location for nothing. These are people who I've been told have been frequenting at lands, they're now at immigration, they're not there anymore. Dr. <laughs> Minister Barnett says they're not there anymore, and we're taking steps. Um, I'm trying to be nice about it. I'm trying to go about it the nice way. But I hope that we don't have to go. And I'm counting on my ministry to support me in ensuring that this is something that is addressed. 